Since we are using Laravel, a lot of things become super easy to implement. And one of those things is authentication. So behind the heart of every single application is an authentication system where a user can log in and register and do the forget password and a lot of other kind of functionality in there. So using Laravel, we can easily create an authentication system within a matter of minutes. So let's go ahead and go to the Laravel docs and we're going to search for authentication. And if we go to the authentication, we can go ahead and read through this, but I'm just gonna scroll down to where I know we want to get to. So it says creating applications, including authentication. So we can create a new Laravel application and pass this dash dash auth flag along with it. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go into my sites folder and I'm going to create a new Laravel app. So I'm gonna say Laravel new auth, actually I'll call that authentication and then I'll pass the dash dash auth flag. Okay, and after that's completed, we can see the into our new application folder and open this up inside of our editor. So now if I open this up and I go into my database migrations, again, we should see here a few tables. We have our users, our password resets, and the failed jobs migration. So then we can also go into resources, views, and we'll see, you'll see that we have a few more views in here. So we have our authentication views right inside of that folder. So there's one thing that we need to do is we need to connect this to a database. And I'm going to just call this database authentication. And we can see that this app URL is authentication.test. And go ahead and save that. And then I will open up my database client and create a new database. Okay, so we have our empty database and now we can run our PHP artisan migrate command. And after we've done that, we can reload our database and we see that we have our users, password reset, migrations, and failed jobs. Now this is really cool. Let's go ahead and go to our authentication.test URL. And you can see that we already have this login and register route up here. So I can go to login and I can go to register. So I'm gonna register for a new account. And after I do that, you can see that we've already been logged in and that we're here at the dashboard. We can then go up here to log out and then we can sign in with the same email that we just created. And boom, just like that, we have a full authentication system in our Laravel application. We have the login register, forgot password functionality, stuff that might take you a couple days or even a couple weeks to build out is now able to be built within a couple minutes. So you can tip your hat to the Laravel team and Taylor Otwell for that. It just makes building out this part of your application super easy and now you're already ready to go and start building functionality into your application. Hey, thanks for checking out this video series on Laravel 7 Basics. I just wanted to say thanks for watching this series and I also wanted to ask you to give me a follow on Twitter at T-N-Y-L-E-A. I also wanted to take just a second and let you know about one of my courses that I created called SAS Adventure. And you can visit it at sasadventure.io. And this is a 21 day program that will teach you how to create your own software as a service using the Laravel framework. So if you wanna support me, go ahead and uh, check out my course at sasadventure.io and I will see you in the next video.